With 5G and the Edge the subject of so much attention, will CSPs be able to deliver on a multi-cloud strategy to enable the delivery of the necessary applications? Ms. Bell, thanks for joining us again on Telecom TV. It's a fascinating subject, this, um, as the industry moves towards this multi-cloud world. Um, how can CSPs begin to deliver the necessary in innovation levels that are required of 5G? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. And um, I, think, I think you first have to really understand where the applications are going to be actually residing, right? And depending on the type of application, then the CSPs can really figure out how are they going to support it. So, for example, a lot of the enterprise customers today, they have their applications that are residing in their private data center, right? Um, they are starting to move some of those applications, workloads, onto the public cloud. As, as an area, especially with like AWS and Azure and IBM and so forth, right? Um, there are other types of applications that may want to be sitting closer to the, the end user. You know, if you think about IoT um, and other types of edge applications, which require you know, high speed, low latency, those require to be at the edge of the network. And so for the telco, they need to be able to support applications that really sit across edge, private data center, telco, uh, telco cloud, as well as in the public cloud. So what is the actual role of, of CSPs in, in delivering the applications at the edge? So as I mentioned, they, they really have to figure out how are they actually going to provide the, that connectivity across all those different clouds. Meaning, at the end of the day, the enterprise customers require uh, a seamless experience in terms of how are they going to manage their applications, how are they going to view their applications across all the different clouds, right? If you take, for example, an enterprise customer that has their application sitting in their private data center and now they want to start moving it to the public cloud. They want to be able to seamlessly move applications to the cloud. They want to have visibility across both applications, you know, wherever it's residing. And now you kind of enter in, you know, the edge of the network and there's certain devices and applications that are sitting on the edge. So the enterprise needs to be able to look into those applications as well and make sure that they can manage that. So from a CSP perspective, they need to provide that connectivity across all the different clouds, you know, from the edge, the core, public cloud, and the telco data center as well. But you know, right here, right now, are they able to do that? I mean, it, 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 as you say, it's, it's a multi-cloud world. Do they have the, the, the necessary, I guess, strategic thinking and tools to do so? I think they're getting there, right? Uh, so for example, let's take for example what VMware has been doing. Uh, so VMware is you know, a pioneer in the private data center, providing virtualization, you know, a, telco, a cloud type of environment in the, in the private data center. Now they're, you know, VMware has done a significant amount of partnerships with Amazon, Azure, you know, AWS, uh, to be able to move those workloads seamlessly into the public cloud. Um, we're doing a lot of work now on the edge of the network as well. And essentially what, what we're doing is, is we're providing that connectivity across all those different clouds and giving the CSPs this consistent operations, um, consistent user experience across all those different clouds. So I think, you know, CSPs can now start to think about, okay, how am I actually going to be able to deploy and develop applications across all of these different clouds? And I think VMware is very well positioned to be able to provide that. And how do CSPs actually go about architecting in this multi-cloud environment? For example, uh, NFV is going to be important in the telco cloud, right? So the fact that they need to be able to deliver new services, deliver on new innovation, um, be able to spin up new services faster, they need to do that virtually. Um, when they start to go to 5G networks and they're starting to look at all the innovation that 5G can provide them, that in itself is all going to be virtualized, right? And NFV is going to be a key driver for them to, to, to move into there. Um, but like I said, ha having that connectivity across all of them and, and having the network, the CSP be able to provide that connectivity across all the different clouds, um, is really going to be kind of fundamental in terms of how they're going to be able to deploy services. Great. Well, Ms. Bar, thank you very much indeed for joining us again on Telecom TV. All right, thank you.